play, every practice, every workout. You know, I'm just gonna leave it all out there. The pound the stone mentality. That's you know, that's that's what I that's what I do. That's what I want to want to live out here. And you know, I'm just gonna work every day and try and be the best I can possibly be. I think the second thing that Coach Kleiman mentioned about you is that you're a winner. Where does that competitive fire come from? Oh, I I love the game. You know, it's it's a love of the game. It's it's a love love for my brothers, love for the people I'm playing. Um, you know, with you know, and, and you know, the first thing they, they a lot of people ask is, "What's your why?" You know, when Ben Newman came in here, he said, "What's your why? Why do you play the game?" And I said, "You know, I, I love the game. I want to represent my family. I want to represent this school. I want to represent myself in the best way I can." Um, and you know, be, being able to have such a great year this year in high school was was awesome. And you know, we, we kind of went through some adversity my freshman and sophomore year, and um, didn't have the greatest years, and just build up from there. Um, but you know, I, I definitely being able to to win like that and being able to come come back from you know the adversity we faced was was really cool. Getting down. What would you, go ahead. What would you say are your, your main just personal goals for your first year on campus? That's that's tough because. You, know, you want to say you, you want to play right away, but you know there's there's guys ahead of you. But you know I, I want to impact the team as soon as I can. I want to be the best teammate, be the best leader, and obviously you know I want to get on the field as soon as I can. That's that's obviously a goal, and I want to compete every single day, you know, with the guys in the room. And that's what we were talking about in our in our first meeting today. We just said you know if you're a freshman, you know we have three incoming guys. We don't want you to take anything lightly. Say hey, you know I'm, I'm sitting here. I'm, you know, Skyler's playing, and I'm not going to compete my butt off every day. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come in here and, and work my butt off and, and you know, try and get on the field as, as much as I can, try and impact the team however I can um, you know, in the best way possible. What are your measurements right now from a height weight perspective, and then what, like, what size do you want to play at ultimately? So I'm about 6'4", uh, 220 right now. Um, and, I mean, ideal, we, we've done you know, the meal plan and all that, and I did the DEXA scan. And, you know, I, I would say, I think Coach Klein said back probably 235 with, you know, lean 235, you know, getting the, getting the body fat down, which would be, that would be ideal. That'd be great. Um, you know, I, I, it'd be nice if I got another inch, but I, I don't think, I don't think that's going to happen. You know, we'll see. Still young. Yeah, so yeah, you know, we'll, who knows. But. What were your takeaways from watching Kansas State play last season? I mean, incredible. It was, you know, no, nobody expected the success that, that they would have. Um, and I, I can't say I was surprised, though. You know, I, I knew Coach Klein came in with a winning culture. You know, he comes in as the coach of one of the greatest college football dynasties in recent memory. And, um, you know, he just instilled that winning culture and, you know, being able to see that play out. And I was I was going to come to the Oklahoma game, but, you know, with it being a, a 11 o'clock game, it was with the flights and all that, a Friday night game, so it didn't work out. But, I mean, watching that on TV, you know, it was just, it was awesome. Everyone was like, man, look at Case State. I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, I, I expected this, you know, this is this isn't this isn't anything out of the ordinary, and um, uh, it made me made me very proud to be coming here. So. What are your thoughts on the offensive playbook and just what they ask of the quarterback to do? I feel like I fit in really well here. You know, I feel like this is definitely an offense for me, and um, I feel like I can thrive in an offense like this. Mm -hmm. It's it's very, I, I would say it's similar to you know high school offense. It's it's not that complicated. You know, when you look at it, I took the first look at the. You know, the playbook when I first got it on signing day and I was like man this is this is a lot but then you know you get in here you get to start talking and, and it's, it's really pretty simple it's just a lot more verbiage basically um, and and I feel like the pro style you know how, how they run things here very similar to what I did in high school and, um, you know I, I love that offense and I, I love this offense too it's part of the reason why I came here coach Mess runs heck of an offense an offense that produced you know two NFL quarterbacks in the last couple years at, at uh, North Coast State and you know obviously Skyler here was playing really well last year and um, so I'm hoping that I can just continue to continue that that you know greatness in the in this offense. How similar or different do you feel like you are as a quarterback to Skyler? Well, I know Skyler is is more, as a runner. I, I wouldn't say he's a runner first, but you know he came in with the Snyder area. I know he was a you know Snyder was more of a running quarterback. I wouldn't say I've seen enough of Skyler to see what kind of quarterback he is. I know he's he's really shifty and he's quick, um, but. You know, we'll see. I, I haven't got. I've gotten the chance to throw out there with him a couple times. He's got a great arm. Um, he can, he can get it done with his feet too. So I'd say he's he's. I'd say he's a dual threat quarterback. And, um, and I I think he fits into this uh, for a dual threat. I think he fits into this pro style offense really well. You know, he he did really well last year being able and I, and you know looking at film and watching last year, 
there's a lot of things that he sees that he 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 knows that you know hey I, I could have made this throw I could have done that and he he knows it and I can just tell that he's just like you know that's not gonna happen again next year I know he's he's gonna be dialed in he's not you know you not going to make the same mistakes he did. And, um, that, that's kind of how we all are. We're all just, you know, process driven, you know, focusing on every little thing every day. And, um, so, yeah. Getting down the brass tags.